The seasonally adjusted ABSA Purchasing Managers Index fell to 52.6 points in October 2024, compared to a revised 53.3 points in September. The latest reading is the second consecutive month of expansion in the country's factory activity. This positive momentum, last seen in late 2022 and early last year, signals stability and sustained growth as the sector enters the last quarter. ABSA says the October PMI results underscore steady expansion in the manufacturing sector as easing cost pressures and a positive demand outlook contribute to resilience. The business activity index increased by 4.1 points to 55.6 points, indicating improved production levels. The employment index inched up by 0.5 points but stayed just below 50 index points. However, manufacturers remain cautious on employment and sustained growth will be key for a broader recovery. On the other hand, uh, new sales orders edged down by 1.4 points and inventories dipped by 1.2 points. The index tracking expected business conditions six months ahead also decreased to 62.7 points from 70.8 in September. Despite the drop, it remains above the long-term average, indicating overall optimism. Well, for more on this story, I'm joined by Andiswa Nondadule. She's an economist at ABSA. Thank you so much for joining us, Andiswa. So while the PMI was down slightly, it's still well in expansionary territory. What were the key drivers this time around? Yes, so the key drivers was largely um, the, the business activity level. So that um, rose by about 4.1 points. Um, it remained um, above the 50 neutral point. But also, even though the new sales order index did dip slightly, it still also remained um, above the, the 50 neutral point. Um, also, if you look at the supplier delivery times, those Im improved. So you will remember that um, that index is, is, is inverted. So um, a decline in the index um, signals an improvement in supplier lead time. So those were, 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 the, were the indices that, that contributed to the headline figure. Yeah. So in line with what we're seeing with the producer price inflation numbers, the purchasing price index has come down. Presumably, this will be positive for manufacturers' profitability. Precisely. Um, so it bodes well for, for PPI for intermediate goods. Um, so, yeah, that's a positive. But I think one thing to highlight there is that we are expecting um, fuel price increases in November. So that presents some up, upside risks um, for, for the index. So how are you seeing the export side of things? So from the export side of things, the BR noted that there was also a slight um, decline in, in sales um, from that front, but also noted that um, it still remained above the 50 level, so which is positive. Yeah. The employment index has struggled to make gains for a while now, but it did quite well in September with only, you know, only slightly moving upwards uh, in October. The manufacturing sector has enjoyed a steady flow of electricity for months now. Why do you think there's a uh, some reluctance among manufacturers to employ more people. We know that, of course, in some instances, there's a competition with mechanization as well. Yeah, so I think that they're probably looking to see a more sustained improvement in activity levels before they can um, sort of invest um, in, in, in employment levels. But I think going forward, if we see a notable and sustained improvement in those activity levels, um, employment levels are likely to pick up. And then lastly, Andiswa, in terms of the outlook, what is the outlook for the manufacturing sector as we head into 2025? So the outlook they are they are still optimistic even though it dipped um, um, from the levels that we saw in in September but they are largely still um, optimistic and I think it's on the back of um, the more stable um, electricity supply environment um, logistics are also improving as well as the moderating inflation that we've seen as well as falling interest rates so all of those um, are conducive of better conditions in the sector going forward. All right, Andiswa, thank you so much for your time there. Andiswa, Andiswa Nondudule, she's an economist at ABSA.